This campus has been voted among the most beautiful in America. Vaught Hemingway Stadium in Oxford, Mississippi, though, will be ready for something a little less refined. Big time head clashing getting set to go from Oxford. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry, we'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. Here on campus at historic Ole Miss, we're at Vaught Hemingway Stadium. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth. And we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Ole Miss is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Leslie from the five. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 33. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's go to T-Town, Tuscaloosa. Alabama wins it 38-14. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Hands it to the back. He's at midfield, and he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Gain of 20 yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 47-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. From the 44-yard line, second down. Back to pass. They bring him down around the 40-yard line. the 40 yard line it's third down empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers it goes quickly it's almost intercepted you have a quarterback breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception it's fourth down They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Texas El Paso could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. And he missed it left. No good. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. And out comes the offense. Feeds it to the back. He's at midfield, and he's taken down around the 48-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48. Tackle at the 46. Second and seven. From the 46 yard line, it's second down. Ready. 
Sanders. Left side. And they make the stop at the 38. Well, it's a first down here, and I love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or at times running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. He gets another carry. And down he goes. Right around the 28-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Bounces off the would-be tackler. He's wrapped up for the sack. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up 32. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Seven-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. They'll go with the run once again. He's knocked out of bounds at about the seven-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. This is the eighth play of this drive. Drops back to pass. Now he's scrambling. Decides to take himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. No one could break clear, so the QB decided to run it in. You've got to like it when your leader takes things into his own hands, especially down inside the 10. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 49-yard drive, and they put up seven points. It's one thing to give up some yards defensively, but when you're getting pushed around up front on a defensive line and a team's running the football, boy, it can be demoralizing. It just can take the will and the fight away from the defense. They've got to do something to make some adjustments to regain the confidence. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 29. He's gobbled up in the backfield. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. He drops back. Here comes the pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. <laughs> Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Got to be hard for the offense to even hear the play call. He drops back. Slings it right. 
but this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Scott, back to return it. Fields it at the 37. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They'll throw on first down. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 48. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Ole Miss is up a score. Throws it to cover, just picked off. He's at the 40, he's at the 30, to the 20, the 10, and he will score. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Texas El Paso ready to kick this one off. Singleton fields at the goal line. Gets out to about the 21. They'll set up shop at the 21-yard line. Brought down at the 32. From their own 32 yard line. First down. Under heavy pressure. He's taken down around the 34 yard line. Wallace comes away with two yards on the scramble. And that was the junior corner who'll get credit with that tackle. From their own 34 yard line. Second down. Blitz worked on that play as they got to the quarterback. Well, the linebacker is going to get credit here for the sack, but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play. So the sack makes this third and very long. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Back to pass. Loose football. The defense scoops it. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. What was most impressive is how he followed the play, and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble.
This is a fun game. Game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. play call bring up second and 12. from the 38 yard line second down here's the option and now he pitches it they'll knock him down for a loss a good tackling safety is key for any defense and if they can diagnose a play like this guy can he can be a real menace down now and they need to get it to the 26. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. Here's a run. And he's level at the 32 yard line. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. The Tigers light the scoreboard first with a rushing touchdown. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Texas El Paso is looking to go up by three. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 10-7, UTEP. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 10-7, UTEP. Valadez. Looks ready to kick this one off. Singleton from the five. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The offense will take over at the 25. They bring him down in the backfield. I'd look for this offense to go back to some more straightforward between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. It's third and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. He's changing things up. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Signals for a fair catch. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Texas El Paso is up by three. He drops the throw on first down. Fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Seven yard line. Edwards picks up about five yards on that hookup. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 47. Looking to throw. Oh, and almost picked off. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. 
The cowbells are clanging. Mississippi State taking the field in Starkville. And for Auburn, they've grabbed this game by the throat. From their own 47-yard line, third down. And this stadium is alive. Wide receiver screenplay. And they make the stop at the 49. The screen is good for four. He'd like to change field position with his punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This drive will start at the 20. First down and back to pass. And a quick throw. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Sanders picks up around five yards with that catch. That brings up second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 25. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Third down. It's third and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gets it out to the right out. He's got the first. That's good enough for another Ole Miss. First down. From their own 32-yard line. First down. the carry and down he goes at the 48 yard line he gets another set of downs and more importantly opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff from their own 48 yard line first down yard line. If you're the defense coordinator, you got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive linemen. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman that tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. Takes the ball right. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's check in on the SEC where the passion always runs high. This one's been entertaining us all day long. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. He launches one for the end zone. Incomplete. That would have been a great play if the throw were just a little bit more on target. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's looking to pass. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. And he is drilled at the 35. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. First and 10. Ball on the 35. Texas El Paso has a three-point lead. Runs it left for a decent game. Jeffrey gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Brought down around the 43-yard line. Bennett with the tackle at the 43-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. 
The crowd at a fever pitch right now. Third and short. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He fights forward to about the 43. UTEP's going to take their first time out of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. to about the 41-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Texas El Paso holds a field goal lead. Fires complete over the middle. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Ole Miss will have one timeout remaining. The Razorbacks on top, 10-3. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up, looks long enough. And he missed it right. No good. They'll take over at the 39. Wallace back to throw. And it's caught. And he's level at the 47. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. First down, look at the throw. Going for it all to the end zone! Almost intercepted. Logan was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 47-yard line, second down. Ready. He drops back. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. the 41. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback with his offensive yeah. linemen has. He's got the corner. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas El Paso is up a field goal. Drops back to pass. And he throws it away. Second and ten. Ball on the 18. He rifles it. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. It's third and ten. Ball on their own 18. 
This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. I don't think we'll have time to get this playoff. On the handoff, watch out. Fumble, picks up the loose ball. And he tackles him hard at the 37. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. He looks to throw on first down. And got him! And a huge touchdown play. So they call the tight end's number, and he comes through with the score. He did a great job here of using his size to create space for himself so the quarterback could get the ball into him without any defenders getting in the way. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying the offense and their tendencies and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receivers open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. And he hits the PAT. Rose gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. Here we go. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. At the 48. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. First and 10. Ready. Right, 80. Right, 80. They'll throw on first down. They'll bring him down. Round the 40 yard line. He may have changed things up here. First down. He's back to pass here on first down. And he's sacked. The Miners using their third and final timeout. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Looking to throw. And he might want it all here and does. No, incomplete. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 14-10, Ole Miss. The Who can open up the second half strong and put some separation on the scoreboard? We're about to find out as we open up the third quarter. Singleton from the five. Kicker comes in to make the tackle. We'll take a moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Brad, the sidelines were electric in the entire first half. Looks like the guys are really having fun and are wrapped up in this tight game. I haven't seen this much cheering in a long time. And for UTEP, the big plays allowed certainly caught the attention of their defensive coordinator, and he was not pleased to say the least. Brad, back up to you. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Ole Miss is up four. Scott gets the ball. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. That is a loss of four yards. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Third and long now after the sack. There's 
Look like offsides. Here's the official call. And he helped the offense with that penalty. And you have to be careful here because the offense will get a free play, which could become even more costly than the five-yard penalty. From their own 33-yard line, third down. He drops back. The Cavalry's coming, and he's going to come up with a sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. Oh, excellent punt. Signals for a fair catch. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He drops to throw on first down. Scrambling around. He'll take it himself. He dives and he'll be marked down. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Back to pass. He's going left. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. From the 37-yard line, First down. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. Second down at 12. Ball on the 39. He's at the 30. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. It's second and seven. Ball on the 34-yard line. And they'll probably try to throw here. They line up on third down and 14. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. And he's taken down at the 27. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Screen tailback's got it. Brought down at the 20. A seven yard play. It's a well designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Fires out to his wide out. Inside the 10. Touchdown, UTEP. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling. <laughs> They're very impressive. The minor is lined, up, is to lined up to kick this one off. Single to return. Singleton. He'll get the nine. He's out to the 30. Down the sideline. And they push him out the 47-yard line. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Takes the ball right. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Wallace, back to pass. Huge play for the defense. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. From their own 46-yard line, Second down. Texas El Paso holds just a two-point lead. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. They'll drop him for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He dropped it. As a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. And I'll tell you, in a close game like this, you just can't do stuff like that. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. This offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. Not only does that affect them in a negative way, but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. They line up at the eight. It's second down. He'll get it again. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game six on the front. Third down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. From their own 
own 15 yard line. It's first down. Drops back to pass. And he is drilled at the eight yard line. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. Looks to pass. Zips it right. Down the sideline. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. First down, look at the throw. Fires it out. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down around the 44 yard line. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Keeping an eye on what's going on in Columbia. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Georgia, they're struggling to take control of this game. From the 44 yard line, first down. It's a block on the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. Thomas picks up about seven yards on the run. This is the eighth play of this drive. Give to the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. From the 30-yard line, first down. They'll give it off here. He's at the 20, inside the 10. And he's finally brought down at the 5-yard line. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down in this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They go with a toss, and they make the stop around the three-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. They're at the three. Second down. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. From the two-yard line, second down. the corner touchdown and they take the lead there are some guys when they get near the goal line they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone that's what we saw right there so the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion Ole Miss is up four So a 10-play, 90-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. When I see an offense running the football like this, I am just waiting for the play action because you're going to see the linebackers and you're going to see the safeties start to cheat up to the line of scrimmage to respect the running game. When they start to cheat up, if I'm calling the plays, that's when I pull out the play action pass and look for a tight end or a receiver to try to get behind the linebacker for a big play. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. 
With it being a one possession game and over two minutes to go in this game, there needs to be some urgency from this offense. But at the same time, you can't panic. You can't force the issue, let the game come to you, but have some urgency to you to try to give yourself a chance at a touchdown here at the end. Passes and it's almost picked off. You know, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. They hand it off. Nice run up the middle. Jeffrey gets seven yards on the play. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And this stadium is getting loud. He might have a chance. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Throws. The defender had it and then dropped it. It's second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 46. He's going to go for the home run. And it's intercepted by the senior quarterback. As a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. From their own 22-yard line, first down. Ole Miss is up by four. Hands it off. And down he goes at the 25. That's Scott gains around three yards on the run. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 25. They line up in the jumbo set. Gets to about the 27-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That'll make it 35. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. He's hit and taken down. First and ten, ball on the 36. Got him on the screen play. And he's taken down at the 41. About five yards that time on the throw. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. From their own 41-yard line, second down. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Ole Miss holds a four-point lead. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Brought down at about the 49.
So the ball spotted right around midfield as they continue to move the ball on this drive. They hand it off. Nice run there as they work the outside. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Action going on in Colombia. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Ready. Option. He fights forward to about the 43. Nothing going there for the halfback on that option play. That'll bring up third and four. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Slings it. He's at the 30. He's taken down around the 18 yard line. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but you know, they're converting when they have to. From the 18 yard line, first down, Ole Miss is up four. He's tackled right around the 18 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Wallace steps back to pass, and he throws right away. This wide receiver is very frustrated, as you can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. Here's the halfback, and he carries the ball for a nice game. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Normally, you look for the pass in those kinds of situations. But a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. They're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. They'll bring him down at the 28. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. You know, late in this game and still trailing in a football game, this is where a quarterback has to assert himself as a leader. Everybody's going to turn to him to find out if he's willing to make the plays to give this team and this offense a chance to secure a victory. He has some room at the 40. He's knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. That makes it first and 10. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. First down grab by the receiver. He's at the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Gives it off, and he's tackled right around the four-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Just inside the five, it's second down. 
defense comes out in a 4-4. They need a big play here. And he's going to be sacked. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it pretty good. We're down to our final minute of this ball game. The Miners will use their first time out of the half. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. Back to pass. He might not be able to get the pass off. That's the four. Texas El Paso will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. And this is the ball game right here. He scrambled. They'll bring him down at the one. They'll start at the one yard line. I think they'll try to get a few yards on the ground here and get a little bit of breathing room. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Under a minute left. He fights forward to about the ten. No gain on the play. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. The defense has got to do a better job at the point of attack. At that time, they gave up enough of a cushion there to be able to get the offense a first down. They've got to get more aggressive, get lower. They want to get the football back to their own offense. They've got to step up and not keep giving up this first down. This one's in the books. The Rebels come out on top, 23-16. And for Pendleton, he gets the award for player of the game. For the Rebels, they're off to a 2-0 start, and they're going to look to keep their momentum going. And for the Miners, they're off to a rough 0-2 start. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 13. For Kirk, Aaron, and everyone here at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye. We'll see you next time.